Hey, what's happening guys? Here is an interesting circuit that does absolutely nothing. It's just a 100 ohm resistor, 220, uh, 330, and a 1K resistor, all in parallel. But here's where it gets interesting. Look at that. What do we got here? Well, if it'll focus, we've got a thermal camera. And that's a tiny little guy. Look at the size of that. Want to know more? I thought you might. What we got here is not a $5,000 FLIR camera. So get that out of your head right now. What we've got here is an $83 thermographic camera. It has nowhere near the sophistication of a FLIR so, I mean, if that's what you're looking for, then you're going to have to shell out the big bucks. But if you just want something to play around with and show you what the hottest part of your circuit is, well, this little guy is going to do it. This is from Daniu. It's the HY18 handheld thermograph camera. And it's from Banggood. Now, I want to thank Banggood for sending, us out, sending this out to us at uh, no charge for our consideration. It is a pretty cool little unit as far as I can tell. And here it is. Right now we're just charging up the battery. It's about three inches by two inches by about an inch. And it has three buttons on the interface. That's all there is. This is the power slash menu button. This is the plus button. And that's the minus button. So if we want, and of course we want, right? I mean, come on. This is what electronic type guys do. We look inside of stuff. Uh, where's the spudger? There we go. Come on. There we go. We can pop it open. And what you'll see here is a thousand milliamp hour LiPo battery. And this little board and this guy right here, which is that camera unit. And I don't know if you can read that, but that is the MLX 90640BAB uh, sensor. Now there is an ARM7 processor running this. But what's really cool about this is, with that USB interface there, you can still uh, hook up to the I squared C, which is what this interface is. You see, SCL, SDA. It's I squared C. You can hook up to the S, uh, I squared C interface of this camera and you can drive it from a computer or another microprocessor or whatever it is that you want. Hold the button for three seconds, power it up. There you have it. There's my hand. Nothing terribly exciting there. There's the emissivity, uh, temperature. We have the highest temperature, the minimum temperature, the average temperature. Let's uh, let's hook something else up to it here. I've got a little 12 volt. Automotive brake light bulb here. And short out. There we go. So that's at 8 volts, 1 amp. And you can see we're getting a max of uh, 180 degrees Celsius. It's neat. It's cheap. You know, what else can you say? It works. 
Again, it's not a FLIR, but it will show you what's the hottest part of your circuit. And that's a useful thing if you're troubleshooting something. At least I think so. Let me know what you think down below. That's all I got for you to, for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to our friends at Banggood for sending that out. That's it. I'm out. Peace.